Hey everyone, it's a new year and we've got a lot of updates to kick it off with. Let's start with the save panel. With the save panel, we've updated it so that now when you click save sketch, it'll save an updated version of the sketch. We've also added save as, which enables you to save to a folder on landing pad that you can choose or to any location that you want. Here, we'll choose a folder and then save a new version of this file to that folder. Give it a new name, hit the blue check mark, and a new version of this file has now been saved to a folder on our landing pad account. In addition to this, we've updated how you can create prefabs. Before, you could only drag objects to the import library in the prefabs panel to create a prefab. But now, you can drag objects to any folder or even create new folders to more easily organize your assets. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. We'll call this one Truck Wheels 2. Click the blue check mark and we now have a new folder here. Open it up and we can now drag these front wheels right in to this folder. Give them a name, we'll call them Front Wheels. Press the blue check mark and we now have a new prefab inside a new folder. This feature allows us to easily organize our assets and files within Gravity Sketch. Moving on, we have new quick functions enabling you to easily save a sketch, take a screenshot, report an issue, or exit to the lobby. These can be found when you rotate the non-drawing hand controller to the side. In addition to this, we've added a new mute and unmute button on the non-drawing hand controller when you're in Colab. Adding to ease of use, if you press and hold down on the purple button, you can now easily toggle between the different drawing tools. Now let's talk about layers. Layer highlighting is a new feature we've added, enabling you to easily see which objects belong to each layer. By pointing at a layer, the objects on that layer will highlight in red, orange, or purple, depending on whether or not they are solo, mirrored, or grouped objects. You can use a joystick to scroll through the layers if you have a lot of layers. In addition to this, intersecting objects that are on unlocked layers with the grab sphere will show which objects belong to which layer and will show how many objects belong to each layer. You can also use the joystick to scroll through if you have multiple layers to see which objects are on each layer. We've also updated the Sub-D Tools menu, separating Loop Edition from Precise Select, making them two unique tools, enabling you to more easily edit Sub-D surfaces. The Rigged Chassis tool, found in the Prefabs menu, has had an entire makeover. Now, when you choose the Rigged Chassis tool, you can choose from over 25 presets, anything from neighborhood electric vehicles to full-size pickup trucks. We'll choose a wagon. We also have a new feature that lets you convert the rig chassis into editable geometry. These surfaces are mirrored revolved surfaces, meaning you can easily edit them to create different tire profiles. In addition to this, you can duplicate them in order to have multiple platforms in the same file. Adding to this, if you choose the Revolved Surface tool, you can easily recover the center axis of these revolved surfaces, making it really easy to create rims as well as wheel flats, speeding up the time it takes to begin creating a vehicle. In addition to this, the wheel flats or any of these revolved surfaces can be converted to a subdivision object with eight spans meaning that you can quickly delete some sections and have some wheel flats ready to go, enabling you to quickly and easily build surfaces off of these. And we didn't stop there. We've updated the Sub-D ribbon tool and the polar symmetry functions as well, combining with the thickness tool, making it really easy to create complex wheel designs on the fly. Simply create a ribbon stroke like this and now we can add some thickness to it. 
We'll go ahead and add some thickness. Bake the stroke. Add some detail to this. Modify the point structure. And now you can retroactively change the number of spokes you've created for different designs. Creating complex wheels, as well as getting started with a vehicle design, has never been easier in Gravity Sketch. And last but not least, we've added pass through as a beta feature to Gravity Sketch. Go to Settings, Beta, and you can toggle on Pass Through. It's important to note that Pass Through only works on untethered Oculus Quests for now. Pass Through allows you to see your Gravity Sketch models in the space you're working in. Here, for example, we have a full size version of our chair in the space we may use it, and we can review it at one to one scale. Well, that wraps up the winter update from Gravity Sketch. We'd love to have your feedback, and if you have any questions or comments or any ideas of how we can improve, feel free to let us know on our Discord, Instagram, YouTube, and other social channels. See you next time.